All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back from the small break we had from Niger Football Focus here on Football Fans Tribe. Once again, if you're new here, this is not Football Fans Tribe. We didn't have Niger Football Fans after matches, and we're giving Niger Football Fan content like this one right here, back to back. So I beg, just click that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching. So this is the Niger Football Focus show where every week, once a week, we they turn our full focus, they magnify the magnifying glass, they zoom, I mean, they sharpen them to face our dear country and our football within. So, we they face the MPFL, we just resume for March the 20th. And, of course, we they face all our Ninja players, the ones we get some things of note over the past weekend and their the top performance and some ones we don't get some one or two issues with their clubs and any other thing concerning the players. All right, so my name is Stokes for Football Fans Tribe, and I'm not doing this alone. I have with me a regular here on the Niger Football Focus, Mazi himself. Mazi Awuka, back again, back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good evening to you, Talks, and um, to everybody where they listen to us at this time. Yes, Niger Football on our own, like we always talk. Mm -hmm. And uh, we must carry on for head like that. Uh, if we don't carry on, nobody will carry on for us. And I nobody wake up every will. time. We they come here to talk about our own Niger football. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice one, bro. Welcome back. And then uh, it has been a kind of long because as the international break been going, uh, that was the same time that um, the MPFL went on break as well. So it just be like saying yeah. everything just one together. And um, there was a short break from the MPFL after it has reached um, the midway point. So the MPFL resumed over the weekend. Oh, and the results across board. We had. Um, Aqua United and Rivers United 1 1. AIMA International 2 0. Wiki Tourist. Quora United 2 1. Remo Stars. Casina United and Abia Warriors game postponed due to some logistics issues uh, for the Abia Warriors team where they may get issues with their boss to carry go reach. <laughs> carry go reach the stadium play the match. Sunshine Stars 1 0. Platinum United breaking Platinum United their 11 game on beating run. And then um, kind of shaking their legs for that championship uh, race with a day on. Natural United 2 0 shooting stars, Niger Tornadoes 1 0 Dakada, Lobby Stars 2 0 Rangers International, United 1 0 Canoe Pillars, and MFM. Hey, 1 0 win over Heartland. Uh, Mazi, how you see these results and uh, what are your thoughts of uh, everything? More just brush to everything from top to bottom. Oh, okay, we will start from top to bottom. The top one there, and that mm -hmm. one between Aqua United and uh, Rivers United. Yes, that game happened yeah. a day earlier. Happened on Saturday instead of mm -hmm. Sunday. Aqua United champions of the league, and um, yes, then get uh, that uh, one one draw with Rivers United. Um, some people could say based on waiting, Rivers United do them for the first leg. Uh, we had end 4 1 for the Adokia Messi Maka Stadium. We expect um, uh, Rivers United to tumble them for the second leg. But uh, yeah. you know, forget to say, I don't bring in new coach. The coach will be say, We don't they see the working swing they do for the MPF. We're talking about uh, DJ Ayeni. We see him last season with uh, Sunshine Stars. At the time, we'll be say, Sunshine Stars been the struggle for relegation. In fact, uh, the Oracle then, Bengo Ogun but he left Sunshine Stars, you know, in a very, very bad position on the league. You know, protest for salaries and all, but the Jayani come in, he closed mouth, quiet, clean up the team, carry the team, escape relegation last season. And this season, too, they did the top half of the table, you know, for a modest side like Sunshine Stars. So you can imagine if you do that kind of thing for Sunshine Stars, what you go do when he gets club, we get uh, more funds and we get more money to spend. And I feel mm -hmm. now within the people for Aqua United see where we say they say okay Deji come this is what they do for Sunshine Stars make you come do and for us for inside Aqua United and we see you know immediate impact team we lose four one two weeks ago you know for that second Rivers United no even scored the goal went and our own goal you know from mm -hmm. Eddie Matthew you know one of yeah. the new signings and even the person we provide them two players where they say uh, them signed talking about the Jayani signed during the break and then combined for that particular one. So you show you instant impact from the man the Jayani mm -hmm. and now one of the coaches who go they look maybe nine feet uh, stabilize that uh, aqua team you know come the second half of this season. Yes, the title totally they off their hands now, but at least anyhow yeah, they will they try them if you get any of the continental sports for inside that uh, particular one. Uh, um, but then um, you, you know say Stanley Stanley Egumano make any change for that match. You follow you follow worry because it just be like say you carry eleven players contra shots before for your home. 
Then as you come our home now, you walk carry the same eleven contrast just again. Maybe was that a key factor in that game? Um, I know we talk say yes because um, even after the match, the post match results uh, report from uh, Stanley Goma. Maybe they talk something. Talk say even for the transfer window, mm-hmm. they're not to sign. They sign just two players, then Bernardo Boke and then one other guy, George Apabio. Now the two players mm-hmm. they sign. It talk say. You know, if you change winning team, the team they win, the team they score, everything they have sure. for the game. Mm-hmm. So if you can't they shake and shake, they say too much and nine this boys too. You understand? If you can't they shake and shake and shake and you know that's you know that region where we would see for the team fist for So maybe in a part of the coach game plan, you know, you know, mm-hmm. click for them. And on a good day, a way drawn a vital point for the home of the it's champion. Good one. Any yeah. good day, a way drawn mm-hmm. a vital point. They remember say this mm-hmm. same sun, uh, this same um, the journey with sunshine stars. Come draw with Rivers United for Dokia Messi Maka Stadium for the first half of the season. The Giant yeah. use Sunshine Stars draw with Rivers United goalers. So you show you say you get everything that guy they do for that team. Maybe say as the season they unfold, we go see him. So I'm not gonna blame the Rivers for them. I feel say that one not be bad point at all. At least to go the home of the champions, get draw. Forget all the up and down when they happen with Alpha United this season. But at mm-hmm. least a draw not be bad result for them. The only thing we get away points. Last weekend, now Rivers United, so that big one. So you can imagine, yeah, 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 true, sure, true, very true, very true. And then to the okay. next result, uh, a in by uh, 2 0 wiki Torres. Yeah, aim by wiki Torres 2 0. Yes, um, you could say good one for uh, within the name, and uh, we need the George. He need that, um, he need that, um, uh, that break that game we could bring back confidence and what a way to start the second half of the season. You know, mm. we don't see. Um, the way we be saying but do for the first half, you know, really balance very well. Yes, we don't enter the business end of the season, and that we be say everywhere they tight, and then that one are very good. Erimba scoring goals don't be their problem this season, you know. He had them to yeah. score more than one goals, you know. But uh, that match, you see them score two, you know, Victor Bomba back inside the, the score sheet for Erimba. So I feel say that that kind of morale boost that we they need for the second half of the season to make sure say you know then fit take Erimba back to the rightful place where they do on the log. Where Erimba now they not be where they supposed to. Erimba supposed to see them in and around those continental spaces and. Uh, Mm. The earlier they get there, the better for them. And uh, that one against uh, Wiki Torres, and you currently seventh. Not be normally be able to the same, but I suppose they see him around that fourth, third, you know, second, exactly. and they are most fifth, not be around seventh. So I think mm-hmm. that one a good morale booster for them. And now uh, where they go take them from there now, now it will matter the most. That's the question, it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Quara United and Raymond Stars, in fact, for me, now my match of the weekend be that Raymond Stars side, maybe mm-hmm. say at one point we see them as top of the league. This season with mm, Bengal, but yeah. uh, you know, high flying yeah. Raymond stars. But you know, right now, I'd like say uh, they are four and on the finish for their motto. But uh, you must give credit to <laughs> you know, you must give credit to Para United. We see what happened yeah. last season with Para United. In fact, at mm. some point, they did the continental sports alongside the Nasarawa United last season. If not for those yeah. match uh, boardroom points, we then give to Rivers United. We deprive them, you know, the continent sports. They're uh, talking about the Quara United, so they don't continue. They're almost first score for that particular match, but we we'll see Quara United side way strong themselves by coming to that one and collect the three points. So big one for Quara United. They're now currently fourth on the table. You know, yeah. something to they actually going very right. And uh, trust me, Quara United, they do something right for them. Uh, the mm. next game. Um, that um um that was supposed to be uh, Casino United. Casino, yeah, yeah. Mm. So Sunshine Stars Canopilla, that one had a shocker for me. I know see that United. Mm. Yes, especially with the fact that they just lose their coach. Talking about DJ Ayeni, but it'd be like say the team win plans for the team City for there, you know, to shock yeah. a plateau United side. We don't do very, very excellent. I don't see that one coming, honestly. Mm. Sunshine Stars, very good one for them, you know, to get that one. Maybe the motivation from uh, you know, the governor, you don't the yield fruit for them. You know, we don't see, you know, how, how much they don't package that side. I think last time out they play with Canopilla, they, they splash money on them. I feel say, mm-hmm. you know, so when you invest inside your players, they're they happy that this kind of results you could they see. Sunshine Star, they never really do bad. Yes, they never really You know, this is Sunshine Star of Akure. So, you know, it mm. shows you a side where we say, the things where we say I still teach them, we still did their body. The only question we say how far they will fit continue. 
with this uh, kind of form. I will go yeah. to National Valley United and Shooting Stars. Um, National Valley United, maybe they don't come back. Last season, we see they do very well at uh, the Solid Miners, but this season, the first half of the season, never really too gel for them. Uh, they just they go up and down, up and down, up and down. But right now, uh, getting that uh, um, two goal lead, you know, against the uh, Shooting Stars, very big one there for uh, National Valley United. And then, um, you know, yeah. going forward, we expect them to show more of their title credentials we see last season. That's why United pushed last season. I think at some point there'll be day, the FA Cup. I think they were up to the semi-finals in the FA Cup last season. Mm -hmm. Very close yeah. to the continental slot. And then we expect them to show that this season. They never really shot for the first half of the season. Hopefully we will see that uh, you know that performance from them this season. And then the next one, um I got to know. Dakada. Ah, this one. Uh, now, another game, maybe like the Battle of the Relegation Brothers. It'd be like that game between <laughs> MFM and Newcastle. Uh, and then, uh, Newcastle. <laughs> so, neither uh, of those. And then, mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, Dakada FC. Any one game, but uh, I'd always tell myself if you did, you know, this kind of zone, this relegation zone, you need to be win. People will be in and around you. Now, the only way of will is escape. You will survive because if yeah. you win, I have to to you and I might not for them. So, that person, uh, so Dakada and this one, another blow for their, you know, title aspirations and their title, just like Heartland and MFM. I will just talk their two together because Heartland, to that game, that game they're supposed to win against MFM. Yeah. Remember last week, I've been mean, complaining, see, I know they have to see Heartland, no fee win MFM for their house. You know, but you see MFM come beat Heartland for MFM ground. You know, it show you see, it show you team we get. In fact, I don't know, I know be profit though, but I see MFM as team with his escape relegation this season. MFM, yes, MFM. The first time they come up for relegation zone. The first time they come up for relegation zone since March day six. Yes, since March day six, the first time they come up from relegation zone. And if you watch this MFM side, they don't pick. They don't pick points for their last four home games, for their last four away games. They yeah. don't pick. I remember say they play him, but I remember that one one draw for him. Mm -hmm. I know say this thing, away away point they very very important. So uh, inside uh, like uh, MFN, we don't pick four away draws. You know, it is remain and for them to fine tune their home form, try to they get the maximum points at home. You know, yeah. and if you think they get the maximum points at home, they get the draws for house at, at home, then they get the draws away. Why yeah. not? You go do right, definitely. So, yeah. They say they don't they try to get themselves back. They don't they try to you know do things back. I think I said they they are under twenty months. They go on tournament. They say teams for Euro play and all that. So kudos to the MFM side. And I went to they talk about private partnership for inside the league. When you see team, maybe say now private people, they you know they they like normal. Yes, even with the relegation struggle, see they see say MFM see they try to bring out their head, try mm -hmm. escape. So. A yeah, uh, big yeah. one to them, and then uh, a big result for them. Uh, was, United... This was the goal MFM scored against the Hartland. I just flashed the goal. Uh, video credit um, to Quality Quadrant on Twitter. Now my question, I say, why, why the man waiting for the line? You, you die with the last man. You know, the line. <laughs> <laughs> it is another person day, another line day back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> know the thing yeah. is the group in this dressing room. Oh, let's see that. Now. Spiritual, <laughs> and, uh, and you know, this is fast. Then we know, then we know, then we know, Sunday. So, as you know, like, 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 you
in the best way because <laughs> now na, na my na my home team. But how yeah. about you? No wala. No wala, my brother. And then uh, the next the next result uh, was a uh, Lobby Stars 2-0 Rangers International. Oh, Lobby Stars after um, five matches back to back to back to back. Their if first I tell you say, if, I, if I tell you say that result no shock me, I did lie. Mm-hmm. Enugu Rangers, one of the sides with the with uh, one of the best away results for the first half of the league, you know, yeah. with um with me, my Kaba, you know, they play good football, you know, away from home. Yes, that they, they lose for their house for the new with Township Stadium before they can get the Oka City Stadium where they're already playing now. But uh, remember mm-hmm. say the first leg of this game end 5-3. Goals for for that particular game, and we see see Lobby start. Yeah, they don't start to the you know we, we don't see some some major shake up for there. They don't start their former coach Eddie Dombray. We don't mm-hmm. also see some management level. They don't bring in Ayofa, you know, as a uh, new vice chairman for that club. So maybe na 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 sense of a new piece of life for Lobby, and then yeah. na that result now they use proven for to, for you to shock a whole Rangers. Rangers, what you say this season and one of the good sides for the MPFL and yes, Lobby so. get that very good result against them. I've seen a statement of intent from Lobby stars in this second half I'm um, done ready for now. Where the jeans come. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then United was the real canopy at the final game. Yeah, shocking result there for Gumbi United. I, I expected mm. more from Kano Pillars, but uh, Pillars never really did stay with this season. I don't know whether uh, the movement, they don't they move, they don't move them come out from uh, um, um, from Kano to Casina. I think one time to, um, I think like three places they don't move them go. So maybe all yeah. those things yeah. too, they follow, they affect the Kano side. You know, mm. Kano, the same as Ugida, shadow of themselves this season. And then, um, that scoreline tell you the result. Newcomers gonna be united, they beat them. But I uh, take nothing away from Gombe. They don't get very good results this season. I think at uh, one time they, they draw and you know, they draw with uh, they stop one person on beating run. I don't know whether they are yeah. or not. I think or it was uh, Remo. I think it yes, was they stop their Remo. beating run this yeah, season. Yeah. So that yeah. thing, they'll be like banana. Now when you know expect that they will shock you. So I ain't they they go yeah, going be yes. They don't come to stay. They don't make. I think for the relegation boys this season, the people will come back to the league. Apart from Remo, now go be don't show working pass for the new mm. guys will come in this in the league this season. Yeah, yeah, nice one, bro. And then uh, this is what the table looks like after March the twenty. Rivers United they, they hold on to first place. I'll get back to Rivers United with something interesting. Brazil United mm-hmm. second place, not two points behind. Um, Rangers International or third on thirty four points in the relegation zone. As we've been talking earlier, MFM are off the relegation zone for the first time since March the six. Winning that win, and it was a praise and worship session in the MFM dressing room after the game. The coach, everybody just they tweet, tweet, they postpone, say finally we don't escape. You, you, know, you, know, you, you know, the funny part is they win their next game, eh? they feel go as high as 15th for the table. Oh, yeah, now you they see I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> That one, eh? <laughs> that one, like, who you say they go do for two days, oh? With communion you. and everything. <laughs> I tell you, they go bring, they go bring live band, join. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, and then the underperformance, Imba, on uh, 29 points. Uh, same. You, can, you can see them on seven position there. Aqua United, the uh, champions, current champions, uh, 28 points. You can see them, eight position. There, um, Cano Pillars chasing 24 points. Uh, they are currently 13th. Um, so the league is um, you see, you see, they go the way been they go before now. But um, one quick, one quick thing I want to add, them as before we leave the MPFL matters. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, since since 2015, eh, since 2015, yeah. oh, only mm-hmm. two teams we don't win the league, we've been the top at the halfway point of the season, eh. Sunshine Stars 2015, mm. they were topping the league at halfway point, they finished sixth. Wiki Tories topping the league 2016, halfway point, they finished third. Plateau United, they win them 2017. Lobby yeah, Stars 2018, they win them. Um, 2019, um, MFM, uh, if I you will be the top during halfway point. MFM finished fourth, if I you will finish second. Now, Lobby Stars will be the top 2020 own. They finished third. Cora United, they finished fourth for the 2021. Oh, now Rivers United, the top. Stanley Eguma and him boys. Do, do you think do you think they can go all the way? I, I think they can go all the way. I think they can go all the way. Because um, that team, that team, 
the, the truth be say for the past couple of years they don't be in and around the continental slot so not be something within the uh, new to you know they don't the de- yeah, they don't they ask those questions around that slot. And then, um, of course, the technical reinforcements we don't see for the team. You know, maybe say they don't bring Fatai or Shaw. They don't bring in. And even for this January window, they're no slap. They still try to reinforce, you know, for some of the places where we say they know they reinforce. The team, they, the team, they're excellent. The team, they score goals. For me, everything, they work very well. If Rivers United no winner, for me, it would be very big shocker. It would be very, very big shocker. Rivers United get the best away um, returns. Talking about the league this season at the moment, they get the best away record. And, you know, we don't enter the business end of the league where things they did very difficult. For Rivers United so far, if you see, I don't do very impressed with what they do. They know they struggle, that they, you know, that they do their own work. Unless something major, something we don't expect, or something we they happen mm-hmm. for football, we football, you should say me football. I feel yeah. Rivers United don't do enough. They don't show enough. You know they don't show enough so far. You know to carry the league this season. All right, nice one, bro. And then uh, on to the diaspora. Our players, as you know, they're full abroad. They are scattered all over the world. So we are just going to do some picking and choosing of our super Eagles players, and then we will talk about their performances over the last week. But then breaking news: I think just an hour before we came on the show, um, this man right here, Kelechi Wakali, we know say he never played for a club, SD Huesca for uh-huh. Spain Huesca. since the Afcon. Due to, um, I think he arrived late after Afcon, and then he supposed extending contract is like they did agree terms. So, baraguru guru, baraguru guru. Finally, finally, Shad they've terminated his contract early. So, in contract supposed expire June 2022, and they have terminated it early, some months ahead. He's now a free agent, the 23 year old. Now, funny thing about one Kalina say. I think he played one and a half matches for us for AFCON, but I think he was the one that created the most <laughs> big chances for us at AFCON. Most of them being from those set pieces where he take you go bet both the ones in cross and the corner kicks. And I feel to me he's our best set piece guy so far. And then hopefully he could find better club, if not in Spain, at least making comic line people would see him every uh, every week. So Kelechi Wakale we wish you all the best. <laughs> hey, I'm a male family member. No one just see no cost somebody, Papa. Anyways, <laughs> Samu Chukuchuku is back in uh, training for Villarreal today. After you know the injury, we keep up for the second leg of the Jalov Derby. We make everyone of them in that game. Um, how are you crazy? training for Villarreal. Finally, finally, thank God. And I will hope saying go pick for we have some African qualifiers to be later this year. So anyhow it be waiting happened the way waiting happened during the Jalov Derby don't happen. We just have to move on and hopefully hopefully we'll go ready for the next stage. Alex it will be on a sad note um I think he was called people after the small good form when don't try pick but then he was the suspect for everything they are losing goal uh, over the weekend very very bad one even if he controlled the ball well and he just be like say now nah, where the boy won't try the pick form my enemies from village you no know one allow this innocent boy test ha now why it is well yeah, they anyway they did that they choose to speak for a matter, so my problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on now. Madu ka okay, oga Madu. His team is part of them. They played a one-one draw over the weekend, but before that, he was voted into the team of the month in the Eredivisie in the Dutch league uh, for March 2022. As you say, I'm there. Oga Madu, that day for post of all the goalkeepers that in that league I was the chosen one. So. Good one for Maduka. Yes, Maduka's number one at the moment. I don't know who the new coach go choose there, but at the moment, he's yeah. there. And then, on to Taiwan. Woni, congratulations in order for Taiwan. <laughs> one goal over the weekend. And Taiwan, Woni, he now has 17 goals for Union Berlin. Nahim, Union Berlin, their top scorer now for Bundesliga. I know that team, that team, we know today, Bundesliga over the recent, over oh. time. From and now he has and then on to senior man Kelly and a chocolate collection was getting assist for that. 
had as he bad, he can't be the way he be. The second goal was disallowed due to a foul by him on Rafael Varane. So, um, anyways, he still had one goal in the match, which was the opening goal. He now scored four goals against Manchester United. I mean, <laughs> it does be like saying, he get them for, yeah. for in pocket. Good one from Sino Makeleshi and actually you know, play the second leg of the Jalov Derby as we all know, but uh, he don't come back to full form and it's a nice one from senior man. Moving on to our man where Sabi for this week. Um, the guy scored hat trick over the weekend in team. Though they two do well this season, but at least in done they try to deliver in name now Paul and in second name now Onu Achu. So man Big ball on that you had trick over the weekend and um, in team they win 5-0 bent beating uh, Oipen. I think it was 5-1, 5-1, I'll be 5-0. I can't remember the details right now, but um, he scored three goals and uh, he currently has 19 goals and two assists so far this season. He has been uh, involved, as you know, Mo we'll just do the small addition in 21 goals for the club. They are top scorer this season and uh, in there about, I think, um, six goals behind and it's only one game to go or so. In the Belgian Pro League, uh, so nice one from Paul Onachu, man. We sabi for this week. <laughs> big Paul, big Paul, big Paul. Mazi, um, we we miss Paul for the Jalov Derby. If for day, uh, I think so. You know, say for that Jalov Derby, be like our formation for that Jalov Derby in across and not. And then we check very well, <laughs> pull on our truth for fitting very well. Because yeah. everybody gets you be you be PS guy now, you be play PS. I know what you know what I mean when I say cross or not. Every single yeah. ball that does the crosser, and then with mm-hmm. the man like that, we get big body, maybe if for fit to something, but uh, that one don't pass. Uh more they cry, but it don't pass more. They look forward to the next one. We, we move, we move, we move. All right, this has been uh, everything on the on the on the show for today. We don't talk the MPFL, we don't talk our Niger players abroad, and uh, on that note, <coughs> Mazi, any final thoughts before we village people? <laughs> uh, <final. laughs> uh, final thoughts. Um the MPFL on the back. Um, the Nigerian yeah. Professional uh, Women Football League, also the final stage before the Super Six will come up much later. Nigerian yeah. football, are they very happy because, but like the second season in a row now, we know what they see a bridge season or uh, mm-hmm. the disruptor, you know, due to what you know, they are now. Where they play, you know, with this kind of things now, sponsors feel they get confidence, so okay. Oh, the league no go just they stop any. They tell us they go go two weeks with and break. You know, if yeah. not before, if they go two weeks, we go come they pray, fasting and prayer. God, when the league will resume, when the league will resume, when the league will resume. But this one, they go two weeks. No, while everybody come back, and um, I did very impressed. So uh, we hope to see more of that for we Nigerian football. All right, and on that note, we'll leave you with um, the praise and worship session from the MFM team <laughs> after they are, as they usually celebrate their their exit from the bottom of the league at uh, the bottom of the MFM. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow Mazio Woka on his Instagram, Twitter. I just type that name, that handle in the city. Just put it in wherever you do, even if you're LinkedIn, anywhere, even if you enter somewhere, you see space to type. Just type that in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you go back, use them. If you collect free drink, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all, man. Thank you for watching, guys. And on that note, I leave you in the hands of uh, the MPF of uh, <laughs>